Well, thousands are left disappointed after Hurricane Irene forces officials to postpone the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial dedication. Many from right here in the Miami Valley were planning to attend that event this weekend. Anthony Kiko joins us live with what they're going to do now. Anthony? Mark Michelle, I spoke with a local professor who planned on attending the dedication. That was until Mother Nature did a number on the father of the civil rights movement. The sea of people who were expected to fill the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial in Washington, D.C. this weekend are being turned away. Thursday night memorial officials announced the dedication ceremony would be postponed. Thanks to Hurricane Irene. We have no control over Mother Nature. Solomon Hill is a professor at Central State University. He planned on attending the ceremony along with two of his students. This is a part of life we all encounter problems. President Obama was scheduled to speak at the ceremony, something Hill says King would have been proud of. This was his vision within 40 to 50 years that we would see a minority president. I have a dream. The memorial isn't far from the site of King's 1963 I Have a Dream speech. King is the first non-president and African-American to be memorialized on the National Mall. But Hill says the ceremony would have celebrated much more. All about uh, the creed or color or religion or race of any individual, but the fact that we are all Americans. And because of that, Hill tells us he'll eventually make the trip to Washington, D.C. Because we already made history. The monument is not going anywhere. Now, memorial officials say the dedication ceremony will be rescheduled for sometime in September or October. Reporting live, Anthony Kiko, 2 News on your side.